What's up everybody? Coach Lauren here from Colossus Fitness and today I'm going to walk you through how to do a back extension glute focus. Okay, so essentially first and foremost, we want to set up the machine properly. This is going to make or break the movement. So you really want to make sure it's suited to your body and how tall you are and really just making sure it's comfortable to hit your glutes. So as you can see here, this machine, this is pretty universal. You're going to have something where you're able just to push this part up and down and change where it's sitting on your hips. So right now it is suited to me. And something you want to make sure of when you are setting it up is that number one, you're able to keep a little bit of a knee bend so you're not fully straight legged. And on top of that, you want to make sure that you're able to have this supporting your hips. So you don't want to be hanging off the machine. You want it still supporting your body weight so that when I go for a rep, I'm coming down. This is supporting my hips and I'm able to push my hips back up. Okay, so a really common thing that I see people doing, similar to an RDL, they think about it like an upper body movement. So you don't just want to think about your upper body moving up and down. You want to think about your hips pushing backwards first and foremost. So think about it like an RDL. This is a really helpful cue for a lot of my clients. I tell them to think about an RDL on the way down. So think about pushing your hips backwards like a hip hinge. And then after that, when you come back up, you want to think about it like a hip thrust. So you're engaging the pelvis up um, and really pushing through the hips and the glutes. Okay, so before we get into some common mistakes, if this gets a little bit too easy body weight for you, you can always challenge yourself more with some weight. So when I hold weight, you can hold whatever you want. You can hold a dumbbell, a plate, whatever's most comfortable for you. I like holding it out from my body like this, but you can totally hold it at your chest too. Really what's, whatever's most comfortable for you at the end of the day. Okay, so now that we walked through what to do, I'm going to tell you what not to do because I see this all the time and it makes people not do this movement because they just think that it doesn't work for them. But truly, the number one thing that I see is the fact that a lot of people don't adjust the machine properly, so your legs are super straight. And that's okay if you wanna hit hammies, but it's gonna be all hammy if your legs are too straight. So I see a lot of people locking their knees out so there's no knee bend at all, and then it's a full hammy stretch. That's gonna be all hammies, no glutes. Okay, so this one isn't necessarily a mistake, but it definitely helps make it more optimal. So I see a lot of people have their toes completely straight, I really like to put, put my feet like completely outwards like this all the way that you can point those knees externally rotated and you're automatically going to feel a lot more glute and a lot less pressure on your quad from the pad. Okay, so the last mistake is pretty simple and I already touched on it in the beginning. Um, and it's really just thinking about this movement like a lower body movement rather than an upper. You really want to think about it lower body dominant. So you don't want to think about engaging your upper body whatsoever. It's going to be straight glutes, straight legs. So mind to muscle connection is really important. Being intentional with the movement is super important. So when I'm on the machine and I'm at the bottom of the rep, I'm thinking about my glutes are the first thing activating when I'm at the bottom. So I'm not thinking about bringing my upper body just back up. I'm thinking about my glutes engaging first, bringing my glutes up and engaging and squeezing. Glutes are squeezing and I'm back up. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Now we know how to master a back extension glute focus. Make sure to leave a like and comment. And if you wanna work with the best, make sure to click that first link down below. And thank you guys so much for joining.